It's a historical moment for Nigeria as the governorship and state houses of assembly elections are conducted in various parts of the country. However, residents in the seat of power, Abuja, are not participating in the polls. The race for the governorship seat is only in 28 of the 36 states of the federation, while elections in the houses of assembly are in 36 states. The exercise is more or less a double-edged sword, as voters have mixed feelings of the entire process. In the northwestern region, there are reported cases of violence. <laughs> Felinwali registration area in Danagundi Ward in Kano Municipal Local Government Area and some polling units in Kabuga Primary School Gwale Local Government Area had such violent incidents. <laughs> As soon as voting ended in Filinwali Danangundi Ward, security operatives rescued some of the election officials and some arrests were made. Over in Katsina State, one person was reportedly set ablaze along General Hospital Road in Batsari local government area of the state after his failed attempt to disrupt the election process. Over to Cross River State in the south-south region, one person was said to have been shot dead in Ogoja, the northern part of the state. The incident has been confirmed by the State Police Public Relations Officer Irene Ubo. That is a militant zone. It is not new to any of us. We put in place uh, the support of the Navy. They went with three gunboats, yet that incident occurred. I will say, is the wish of God. Nobody is happy about it. I'm just from the teaching hospital. Uh, I insisted that the X-ray should be done. I waited for it, and uh, to the glory of God, the bullet did not touch the spinal cord, and I'm very happy about that. So the pain. The, Drugs have been used and injection have been given to her and I'm hopeful within the next few days we'll get out of that place. The PDP deputy governorship candidate speaks on some other violent issues. There's been reports of intimidation and um, harassment by members of the ruling of Progressive Congress on voters who are not um, casting their ballot in favor of their own governorship candidate and assembly candidate. There's also reports of um, intimidation and harassment in various polling units. Vote buying is happening live. As much as we have um, the presence of security agencies scattered uh, around the local government and the ward, uh, because of the terrain, which is uh, the polling units are far flung from each other. Um, sometimes the patrol teams go by, and um, on the hand dealings are ongoing right under their nose. In the oil-rich river state, the governor on Yesen Wike alleges security breach. Well, it's uh, very unfortunate. Unfortunate in the sense that yes, even if uh, Anik had denied it, um, which is expected. I don't want us to go to the different health to road, but for a data of security in such a sensitive commission to breach security is quite uh, appalling. It's quite appalling. But we thank God that uh, the national body, the, the, the headquarters of Commerce, to deny it, and the security agencies have taken note of it. From what I've seen, and I've not had any much complaint, I can say they've done, they've, they've done very well. So it's only a question of percentage. All I would say that they've done very well. And they have improved more than what we had in 20, in 25th of uh, uh, February. Yeah. Look at what's going on in the university. Total failure of governance in the country. Complete failure. He says that police is helping uh, PDP arrest APC members, arrest SDP members. Gongs are being beaten about in the whole community, asking those who will not vote for who will not vote for PDP not to come out or they will beat him. Unlike before, 
talks are beating people up, 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 up everywhere. People have been arrested and nobody has spoken. The government has no right to declare anybody wanted whatsoever. People have been declared wanted. The IG is doing nothing. Nobody's doing anything. Complete failure. We, we had early deployment, which was quite adequate. Um, so far, the voting exercise has been peaceful, with the exception of one local government. We plan for a pitch free exercise. But as at this moment, it is not possible to have a completely pitch free exercise in River State. It was impossible for us to hold an election in a particular local government, as I told the local government. The implication of that is that tomorrow there will still be an election in River State. We had pockets of incidents in some parts of the state. Notwithstanding, it has been a largely peaceful exercise. The, there was a particular polling unit where hoodlums came and attempted to disrupt the exercise. Some people were injured from the reports getting to me, and they have been taken to the hospital. They are responding to the treatment. I mean, yes. Um, security agents here have been able to stop a series of attempts to introduce violence into this exercise. And I give credit to our men that are on the field and who are still out there, committed as suspected, and ensuring that um, we have a peaceful end of this exercise in River State. Supporters of all the political parties lay siege on the local government INEC office and demanded that electoral materials will not be distributed until they have seen the coalition officer. That was not part of the requirement. But eventually, by the time the coalition officer was summoned to come, it was already too late. And I then had to shift that election to tomorrow. In Asaba, the Delta State Capital, the highway is on lockdown. Those who did not yield to the no vehicle movement warning by the police have themselves to blame. Over to Anambra State, the exercise was rated to have been peaceful. The commissioner of police says five suspected thugs were arrested with arms. From uh, here, the local government area, where uh, uh, local government official uh, brought in armed thugs to the sectariat. Uh, the thugs have been arrested. There are five in number. Five pump action guns have been recovered, and the thugs have been detained. Uh, we did one from the onset that we will not tolerate toggery, we will not tolerate snatching of ballot boxes, and we will come down hard on anyone who violates the Electoral Act and guidelines issued by INEC for the conduct of this election. So these ones that were arrested have violated the, the law. They are in unlawful possession of firearms, and they, they will face the music. And if we are able to establish evidence of who their sponsor is, that sponsor will definitely be brought to book. So we are not just after the talks, we are also after the masterminds. We are after those who recruit them. We are after those who arm them illegally, you know, to perpetrate violence. We will not tolerate any, any violent act in this election. In the north central region, Ilori, the Quara state capital, armed with anti riot equipment, tactical teams of the state command block all access routes. State operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, in the north central state of Quara, make due with their promise with the arrest of the suspected voter buyer across the state. Majority of the arrests you see are people who were directly involved in vote buying. I'm sure, as we are, as we are all aware, uh, our mandate uh, as EFCC is to ensure that um, money influence in politics is totally cut out and uh, eradicated. 
So we got credible intelligence, and then uh, we acted on those intelligence. And, uh, so a lot, a lot, a lot, a, uh, well, all over the states. Some were arrested in uh, out of the states, Omaro. Uh, some were arrested also within Ilori, uh, Ilori South, Ilori West. Uh, we were all over uh, the states. All of the local government within the state, we found ourselves all over. And all of these arrests were made there. Quite a lot of money was, was still, uh, it's still fresh now. We're looking at and then still uh, uh, to start investigation into some of them. Like you can see the POSs. Yes, yeah, so we can tell you this at the sum. Uh, that was exactly what it is. But they are huge, They're quite, quite a lot. The investigation will prove all of that, like I said, but uh, someone was arrested around there. You know, we are an agency set up by law. Uh, we go by the provisions of the law. We, we work within the ambit of the law. We won't go outside the law. So we strictly will follow the provisions of the law, basically, so that's what it is. Heading down to the southwest, the commercial nerve center, Lagos. One down. One down. One is down. One of the towns are down. One of the towns. There were complaints of voter suppression and violence attack in some areas in Okota and Ajao State. Now, what are we saying? We are trying to tell Nigeria that nothing happened here. Police, we, 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 we are. We, police, we are Hold on. We were different choice not to vote. They didn't want us to partake in this election. So we are soliciting to the INEC chairman to cancel this polling vote. 008. There was no election, and along the line, along the, along the line, the Nigerian police came and carried. Yeah, I know officer with the beavers. Abandoning the material. Abandoning the material. material. I don't know whom they are abandoning it for. However, the Commissioner of Police in Lagos says all issues are being addressed and incidences will be investigated. It is true that uh, we've uh, recorded uh, instances of uh, uh, violence in, uh, in, uh, in some areas in, uh, uh, in within uh, the, the, the state. But the reality is that um, they, they, they are not as uh, widespread as to affect the uh, general dynamics of the, of the process. And uh, unfortunately, as uh, is typical of the social media, once it's flashed, it goes viral and uh, it alters uh, the general perception. So yes, we have recorded uh, cases, but the reality is that most of those instances were promptly responded to uh, by the police because we anticipated them. In some instances, of course, as, a, as a, a security uh, practitioners, when you plan operations uh, of this nature, you must anticipate that uh, some elements we, we want to become advisories in the process. So we, of course, anticipated and uh, we, uh, please, uh, we integrated that into our general uh, operational plan and we activated that protocol effectively in this instance. So in most of those uh, uh, breaches, the police were able to respond promptly. Well, I'm sure you are referencing the video that has gone viral where uh, a young man uh, was alleged to have snatched a ballot box and uh, the electorate uh, swooped on him and uh, attacked him. That in itself is, in is illegal, two wrongs cannot make a right. But the, the, the good news again is that Contrary to what is being spread on the social media, the young man is alive. He was uh, rescued uh, by the police and other security agencies and uh, 
uh, is currently receiving uh, medical attention. He's stable. He's not dead. In the rocky city of Abelkuta, the Ogun state capital, the police confirmed the arrest of some persons who tried to manipulate the electoral process. Of course, uh, we've had a few isolated, isolated cases of um, what I would describe as feeble attempts by some hoodlums and criminals to disrupt the, the processes. But the good thing here again is the fact that um, we our men rose to the occasion. And uh, the fact also that the commissioner of police is right in the field, the commander of NDLE in the state is right in the field, the head of uh, the EFCC operatives that came all the way from Abuja and Lagos is also on the field with his men, um, the head of the correction services, um, the civil defense, the DSS, the road safety, we're all, um, we're all on the field. So that has also helped in motivating our personnel and keeping them on their toes. Um, the EFCC has been very effective in also deterring a lot of potential vote buyers and vote sellers. And collectively, I think we've done well. Um, we are trusting God uh, that um, we will go through the process uh, and um, we will land safely. Amidst low turnout and fears of pockets of violence across the country, many say the entire election commenced in time and most errors noticed during the presidential and national assembly elections have been corrected. However, these violence recorded in some areas indicate that more needs to be done to make elections more credible.